This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a trigonometry problem here. So we've got, let's draw the scenario that they're describing. We have a base of a triangle, which is known, which is 336. We've got the height of a building. Wow, that is a hideous building. Oh, I apologize. Let's draw a nicer triangle. Here's your triangle. And here's your building. Up, 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 up. And we know that the slope to the roof is 30 degrees, and we know that the length of the base is 336. Now this triangle, because we know it's a right angle over here, we know that it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, meaning the angle measures are 30, 60, and 90 degrees. Well, that's actually a special type of angle that a lot of people have memorized where they memorize the ratios of the side lengths. So I'm gonna show them to you now, if in case you don't know what they are. They are one, two, and root three. That is the ratio of the sides to one another. This is really useful because if somebody gave you, say, the base, you know that the, um, the base is, is equal to two times the height. So 336 would be equal to two times the height. So the height equals 168, and we can pick the correct answer. You could also use basic trig here. So um, you could use um, the tangent of 30 equals uh, the height over the base. So you could, you could do it that way if you wanted. Also, you need to use your calculator. But this is, this is faster if you just have the ratios memorized.